Today what I'm going to show you is my homemade applesauce bread. Nothing like homemade on a cold day. And this applesauce bread is really so simple and easy and really good. So let's get started. So I have my oven preheating at 350. In my mixer, I'll take two cups of sugar. This applesauce bread is really good. There's one. Second cup. To my sugar, I'll also add in two cups of applesauce. There's one. I'll use my spatula to get the rest of the applesauce out of the measuring cup. And two. To my sugar and applesauce, I'll add in two thirds cup of vegetable oil. Perfect. I'll just pour it right in. To this, I'll add in four eggs. There's one. Two. three, and the last egg. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. There's one, and two. And the last ingredients that I'll add into this mixture before I mix it is six tablespoons of milk. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So now I'll mix all these ingredients until it's smooth. I'll scrape down my sides. Scrape the bottom, make sure that the sugar is really mixed in good. So now this is smooth and combined. I'll add in four cups of flour. I'll place all the ingredients in my bowl and then I'll slowly stir all the flour, the baking soda, baking powder, everything into my mixture. There's two one more. Let's 
So that's four cups. To my flour, I'll add in two teaspoons of baking soda. So there's one. Two. So to my flour, I added in two teaspoons of baking soda. Now I'll add in one teaspoon of baking powder. One teaspoon of cinnamon. A half a teaspoon of nutmeg. This bread is really, really good. I'll add in a pinch of salt. Mix everything around. And that's it for the ingredients for this applesauce bread. It's super duper good. So now what I'll do is I'll put my mixer on low and slowly add in the flour mixture. Nothing like homemade bread on a cold day. Oh yeah, looks good. While that's mixing, I'll spray my baking pan with some cooking spray. You'll bake this applesauce bread for about 35 to 40 minutes until you see a nice uh, golden brown on top or when you stick a toothpick in it comes out clean. But remember ovens vary so you just want to keep an eye on it. I'll turn my mixer off. Scrape the sides, make sure everything's mixed in good. Oh yeah. Give it a couple more twirls. And it's done. So I'll move my mixer off to the side. Mix the bottom, make sure it's all mixed good. Now doesn't that look good? This is one good homemade bread. So I'll pour it into my baking dish. shake it. My oven is ready so now I'll place it in. Oh yeah. And like I said 35 to 40 minutes or until a toothpick comes out nice and clean. So now for cleanup duty. I'll check on my applesauce bread. Ooh, look at how good that looks. Almost there. This bread is really looking good. So I'll stick a toothpick in it. No, 
couple more minutes. It's not ready yet. So now I'll let this cool and we'll be having applesauce bread. Nothing like homemade on a cold day. Look at how easy this applesauce bread came out of the baking dish. So I'll place it on my foil. Doesn't that look good? Look at how perfect this bread came out. It really smells good. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and comment below. I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.